keep the metal faith alive. Hey people, James here. For those of you tentatively waiting for the next Control Denied album when Man and Machine collide, I've got some bad news for you. Don't take my word for it. Let's listen to Steve DiGiorgio, who of course was the bass player in the project. I would like to thank Tibor of the Impact Metal Channel for giving me permission to use part of his interview with Steve Giorgio, you can head over to their Facebook page and give them a like. And also, if you want to check out the full 20 minute interview, you can head over to their YouTube channel. There are some rumors out there about the releasing of the Country Denied album, the second Country Denied album. Do you have any news on that? It's not really rumors because to me, rumor is like, like people spreading, you know, gossip. Mm-hmm. We were honestly trying to release that album and the plan, right, right when he died, the, the whole lineup was at his funeral and we had a meeting there and we said we're going to do this mm-hmm. we're going to finish it we're going to put it out it's what he wanted but man we ran into so many problems it was never just one problem it was just a combination of mm-hmm. there was you know the the legal issues with the company the 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 digital machine that he used was uh, kept from the band for a while and then when it was finally you know given to the band it was corrupted so then we had to extract the information through some digital code and convert it and then know, it's one thing after another you know it's it's been so long since that music has been played and we have to relearn it and but I think the biggest issue is the the uh, the technology part of it right. it's it seems that it's not easy to complete this mm-hmm. because we're all trying everybody's trying Richard did a great job getting some of the digital material extracted Shannon's always done a good job holding it down and trying to be the the foundation of finishing this project but even so it just seems like there's too much in the way for it to come out, which is sad because, you know, we've heard the songs. I have the songs, you know, on my iPod and, and the cassettes that Chuck sent me back in those days, and the songs are great, and it sucks because that's all we have. We don't have the final version, so I don't know. No good news, man, but what can I say? I'm, it's out of my control. And who will be the singer for the second one if it will be ever released? Tim, I'm a same, or... Yeah, it'll be Tim. The same lineup as the exact same lineup as... And that's another thing that's sad. Chuck has never had back-to-back lineups. And this was the first time it was going to be done. And it's like a curse or something, you know? Because we, we still have the same lineup for the second... You know, first control denied, the second control denied. But now we run into a different force of nature. So mm. I don't know. No good news, sorry. Mm. So there you have it, people. Based on what we know, this project, this second Control Denied album, is never going to be completed. So how do you feel about that? Leave your comments down below and I will catch you next time. Keep the metal faith alive.